Hello and uh, thanks for having a look at this um, video. Uh, I haven't done one of these before so this is all, all new to me. Um, I uh, have started doing a radio show on Beyond Radio which is a new community radio station for the Lancaster and Morecambe area. Uh, it's been a few years in the in the making or in the setting up. Uh, it follows on from a station I used to be on called uh, Diversity FM that it had to close down for for the usual sort of financial reasons that these radio stations uh, often seem to be uh, they often seem to be hit by uh, not you know not being able to get enough funding uh, to carry on but anyway Beyond Radio is now up and running uh, there are a few of us people who were on uh, Diversity who were doing shows on Beyond Radio and uh, and quite a few uh, new volunteers. So um, uh, so yeah, I'm doing a weekly uh, folk music show on a Thursday evening. And as I say, my first show went out last night. A bit nerve wracking being in the studio because it's all it's all live. Everything that, that you hear on Beyond Radio is all live. Uh, previously on the old station there was the option of doing uh, pre-records. I remember speaking to one presenter who who just couldn't handle the thought of doing a live program and he would only do pre-records. So I guess he's um, he's probably not going to be on uh, on Beyond Radio. So, uh, so yeah, my first show started off with a track by Richard Thompson. Uh, he is a guitarist and singer-songwriter who's been around for uh, quite a long time now. Um, I guess he's uh, coming up for nearly 50 years in the uh, in the music business. He was a founder member of the folk rock band Fairport Convention. And the track I played was a cover version of uh, a song by originally done by the Easy Beats, who are an Australian band back in the 60s. It was called Friday on My Mind and it was from Richard's album uh, A Thousand Years of Popular Music. It, he was approached, I think it must have been in about 1999, by a magazine to select his favourite music from the previous thousand years and uh, so he decided to take them literally. Uh, I'm sure most people just would have chosen music from the previous 50 or 100 years but he went right back to uh, sort of I think the earliest song he found was from the 13th century or something uh, needless to say, uh, his um, choices weren't included uh, in the magazine's final sort of selections. But he got the idea of doing a uh, doing a show, going on the road and playing music from uh, from over the centuries. So this was obviously one from oh, that was fairly up to date, um, and um, yeah, I thought that was a, a good song to start the show with. I also featured a track by The Rails, which includes Richard's daughter, Cammie. Uh, the Rails are basically Cammie and her partner, James Wellborn. They both play guitar and sing and uh, were joined by various people on their album, Fair Warning, including the fiddle player, uh, Eliza Carthy. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole playlist because that would probably get a bit, a bit tedious. I will mention uh, Kim Edgar that she is um, a Scottish uh, singer-songwriter and musician. She plays the piano and uh, she has just uh, released or is about to release a new album. Uh, it's a bit confusing because she launched the album at a gig in Edinburgh just last weekend, but the actual album, um, Stories Untold, is not being released until so sort of towards the end of September, I think it's about 23rd of September. But I um, I emailed her to, to find out what was going on, how, you know, if people could get hold of the album. And she said that it is available to order via her website if you want a CD. And you can also get copies at any gigs that she's playing. But otherwise, uh, it won't be available to download uh, until the official launch date. Which is in September, but um, but yeah, it's a very very good album, and um, uh, yeah, it's nice to nice to hear from her. She's one of these people who uh, doesn't just send music out to you, you know, but actually puts a little a little note in, a little postcard and stuff along with the press release. So it's nice to have that sort of personal touch. Uh, 
Um, another person to mention is Michael Chapman, who I saw, as I think I said on, on last night's show, I saw him at the um, Cloud Spotting Festival just uh, a couple of weekends ago. And uh, he is someone who my wife has known for a long time. And I think it's uh, one of my wife's friends is, uh, I don't know if he's Michael's manager, but it does does kind of work for him anyway. Uh, so, yeah, it's nice to see him. He played a little set there at, uh, at that festival. Uh, so now uh, to think about what to what to put on next week's uh, playlist. Uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Um, I won't be uploading it to Mixcloud, but you can check out other shows and mixes that I've done there. If you go into Mixcloud and do slash CM Bertram, I don't know why I chose that rather than Colin Bertram. Um, but anyway, there's a load of stuff there that I've been doing over the last few years. And I've also been posting, uh, or I will be posting playlists on my blog which is uh, which is on Blogspot, and you can find links on Twitter and Facebook and all these places. So um, that's it for for today, and um, I hope you enjoy the music and can tune in to Beyond Radio. Um, I will be away for a week in September, so there will be will be one week where I'm not doing a show. But otherwise, um, uh, yeah, do tune in Thursdays, eight o'clock, one hundred three point five FM, in the Lancaster and Morecambe area. Or you can listen online at uh, beyondradio.co.uk.